Hey everyone, welcome to Explicit Formulas with Arithmetic Sequences. So uh, if you've been watching our videos on arithmetic sequences, we've talked about this idea of a general equation. Now, the general equation uh, is also called the explicit form because we can explicitly find a specific term, the fifth term, the tenth term, the twelfth term, okay? And remember the idea behind this, the equation behind this general form is a sub n equals the first term plus n, the term you're looking for, minus 1 times the common difference, okay? So what we're going to do, it's, we're going to find the general equation in the explicit form of the sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and continuing on. So the first thing we need to find is the common difference. Okay, so the difference between terms, 8 minus 3 is 5, 13 minus 8 is 5, 18 minus 13 is 5, 23 minus 18 is 5. So it's all increasing by 5, so we know that D is equal to 5. We also know that the first term, A sub 1, is equal to 3. Now, to use this equation to find the general equation, now it's a matter of substitution. A sub 1 equals 3 plus N minus times the quantity, or plus uh, the quantity N minus 1 times 5. Okay, now it's just algebra. You simplify, so you have 3 plus 5n minus 5. So there's the distributive property. You combine like terms, you get 5n minus 2. Okay, so that's a sub n. Now we can check this. So look, let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's find the fifth term. So we could say, well, a sub 5 is equal to 5 times n, which is 5, minus 2. That equals 23, so it looks like our formula checks out. So this is our general equation. That's an explicit equation. And remember, arithmetic sequences we talked about as being linear. This is a linear equation in terms of n. So if you guys have any questions or comments about explicit formulas, you can go ahead and type them below. We'll see you next time.